But you could see why Okorafor was moving when he did. Absolutely. Here is a pass by Warren out of the backfield. Can't get there. Able to cross the 40 with a gain of 16. We're accustomed to seeing in prior years from Pittsburgh, and, and they've not got it going tonight. Warren's got a lot of room out in front of him. Started in the backfield and lowers his shoulder near the 40. The coverage, they go man here and they go bunch, and Taki Taki is the guy who's supposed to come over. He's in man coverage. Then on the back, coming out of the backfield. Interceptors of all time. Warren's got a lot of room here. Jalen Warren in space to the 45-yard line. Yeah, it just feels like there's a few more plays in the playbook, doesn't it? Anytime that you've got Jalen Warren in the game, he has been so creative in space. And probably more important than that, Mike, is Kenny Pickett has a place to go. You should know what's coming. Here's a run play. Warren finds his seam. Shot out of a cannon. He picks up 18. Finally tackled by Jalen Petrie. The roster last year. Big play here for the Steelers. You cannot go under the block. You have to get over the top. Watch as this develops. You can't go underneath. There's a big hole right there. Look at that radar. Everybody up. Six defensive backs. Pick it. Underneath. Warren takes advantage. He won't go down. Warren to the 30-yard line. Had the chance, but as you noted, Ian, he slipped before you saw him come into the picture, and then he couldn't gather himself to make a good attempt at a tackle. And Warren, second, third time this game, out in the flat, making people miss and picking up additional yardage. That's the yards after catch Pittsburgh's been seeking. Look at him stay up. Look at him battle for more yardage. He never went down. On the ground, spin by Warren. Jalen Warren delivers another run for 16 yards on the tackle. Mason Cole, 61, climbs to the second level and takes out Roquan Smith to complement the beautiful spin by Warren in the hole. And he puts Pittsburgh in great business down at the five-yard line. He replaced Najee Harris, and he's given them a heck of a burst on this drive. On second down, Warren looking for an alley. He's got the end zone, and the Steelers are an extra point away from tying it. Gets the down block, but he climbs to level two. That really gives Jalen Warren the opportunity right there to find that crease and get in the end zone. Warren in there. Trubisky, dump off. Warren's got it, turns it upfield, spin move, he won't go down. He forces you to respect his game and find ways to put him on the football field. Talk about Jalen Warren for Pittsburgh. Because everything about him screams Najee Harris should be on the field 90% of the time. But whenever this young man's out there. Inside handoff, ton of room, Warren. Inside the 20 yard line. There's Jalen Warren, the second year back out of Oklahoma State. Watch this block right here that it actually allows Warren to be able to get out right behind that block. And he does a nice job of breaking that tackle. Undrafted free agent. 21 yard line. Again, Warren around the corner. Sets him a first down and goal. Edmonds comes here, and ideally he would come out here and help set this edge. He gets inside, and that gives Warren a chance to bounce that. Now, again, Edmonds just has been here about a week and a half coming over from Philly, and that Kevin Byer trade takes a poor angle, and that allows Warren to bounce that outside for even more yards. A road game in 50 weeks. The last road game they won was in Green Bay on a Thursday night last November. Taking it on the end around. To the 41-yard line, that's Warren. Short yardage. They kind of sneak him over here and pick up a couple good blocks by the tight ends, Hayward and Williams. And you're not going to be able to bring him down with an arm tackle. Jack Gibbons just a step slow. Good timing there to get the football to him right when he's able to get it and then get to... That's what the crowd was yearning for, a big play. 32 yards there, Lawrence of the night. Warren bounces off a tackle. Warren down the sideline. Does he get into the end zone? 
Tennessee says no, and the officials are going to mark the ball at the one-yard line. But are you kidding me? The effort and what he did, he steps out of bounds right, right there. there at the one-yard line. Yeah. But how about the play? The rookie right tackle, Broderick Jones, making his first start, gets blown up there by the vet, Jeffrey Simmons, and instead of giving up on it, he spins around and gets to the edge with that quickness and that physical style of running that he had. 17-yard penalty. They spot the football at the 28 of Green Bay. It's Warren. Spin move by Warren. First down. Just watch the action with this offensive line as people come in from the other side. You see Broderick Jones, number 77. Excellent job from right tackle to left tackle. And that's one thing he's really added. Pickens in the middle of it, trying to hide him in the bunch. They're trying to do a lot of things to shake him free. Running play for Warren. Jalen Warren rips through for the touchdown. And look what's coming at you. That's Isaac Sayabalo, number 73. Also a wide receiver coming in motion. 159 yards on the ground for the Steelers. On a give. Warren somehow emerges. There were bodies bunched up, and Warren squeezes through for 20 yards on the rip. But watch how he just squirts, because as he goes and gets into here, it looks like the play's done. But watch how he emerges from it. Right here, you think he's starting to go down. His body weight leaning over his feet, but he stays up and then accelerates again. We can pick up first downs and keep our offense out there. Cleveland is allowing less than 13 first downs per game. The third fewest through nine games since 1991. Jalen Warren's got a big gain. Warren streaking down the sideline. And they break the seal. Touchdown, Steelers. And take a look here. Broderick Jones, 77, pulling it right tackle. And right there is Greg Newsom with an opportunity to make a play in the hole. But Warren makes him miss. And once he does, the crease is there. And Jalen Warren, who is a wing T fullback. 8 of 17. Third and 13. Pickett, sidearm toss. They're hoping Warren can create. And he can for a first down. Third and 13, you're going to play coverage on it. Where's the rally to go get it? Well, James Daniels erases someone there, 78. Mason Cole just enough in front of him to make it a tough tackle. Technically outplayed them. They're trying to be in a position to do it again here today. Give it to Warren. Shake and bake move. Warren off the stutter step. Veers to the outside. Tosses a man down and gets extra yards. He's one of those running backs that I remember when I was playing, my coach used to say, you better bring your pads with him. In other words, you can't just reach out. You can't arm tackle him. You can't just kind of grab him. You've got to put yourself into him and hope you get some assistance along the way. First down from the 27. Running play. Warren again and again and again. Another first down for the Steelers. That one covers 12 yards. It's been like a Swiss Army knife for the Pittsburgh Steelers stepping in and making a big play. Dump off for Warren. Getting to the outside for a first down. 421 last week against Cincinnati for this offense. Warren is in first and 10. Oh, look at the burst. Look at the run into the secondary. Brought down by Buda Baker. And what's the combination block coming to this side? And then the run is just going to take it in here. Watch this. They get the combo, and then you come off. You get the linebacker, and Warren reads it perfectly with the patience, able to get it up to that second level before any kind of contact. He has a couple 100-yard games I mentioned earlier, averaging 5.8 yards per carry, number one. Farmuth, who had his best game of the season against Cincinnati, the motion man on third down. Rudolph lets it go, and it's a lot of space for Jalen Warren. Turns on the burners, and he's deep in Cincinnati territory. Dragged down by Logan Wilson with 17 more in the air. Well, watch. He's going to start looking left. And he's going to know where Jalen Warren is as his outlet. It's not there in his initial read. Does a nice job dumping it off to his outlet receiver, Jalen Warren. It's interesting, he said, even though he hasn't played, he feels like he's gotten... He's not going that fast, and then he blows right by you. 
14th play of the drive for the Steelers. It's Warren inside the 10 to the end zone. Touchdown! Just watch the vision of Jalen Warren as he's going left. Then he's able to cut back to the right and make another cut. That is big league. You can make that second cut. The safeties have no chance. Still a start for the 25. Rudolph bobbled the snap, hands it off to Warren. Still, Still going. going. First down. Stays on his feet and is finally upended at the 48-yard line. It, it looked all messed up. Mason Rudolph, I didn't think he would even get the handoff. Gets it back in time over to Warren. And you see the blocking. And Devin Witherspoon, he's known for being physical. And Jalen Warren runs right over him. And then starts bowling over the rest of the Seahawks defense. He said the introduction was a production all in and of itself. And it was. He used to light this, this stadium up from the get-go. Rudolph kind of looks the snap into his hands and flips it in the flat. And around the edge, Warren flashing his speed in a sloppy track. All the way into Baltimore territory. Got a nice block from Connor Hay. To catch the ball and peek to his right to try to get George Pickens to football. The Baltimore Ravens take George Pickens away. Now look how quickly he resets to Warren. And they've got lead blockers out front. This is a Kyle Shanahan 49ers play. The quick decision for Mason Rudolph pays off. Yeah, look, Jalen Warren, 56 receptions this year, which is fifth amongst running backs. Gonna fake it and then give it to him on the screen. Look at them go. What a nice run and cut by Warren to get out near the 50-yard line. Go ahead and run this right here. It's a play-action fake to make you think we're going to throw it downfield, and it eases the quarterback. Just a simple screen play to start the game, and Warren, this is a one-two punt. And it's a loss of 11. Second and 21, draw. Warren, pass Johnson, and he got about 12 for a hide's able to chop him up. Great patience and then hit the hole and find. I mean, he's going to find a hole somewhere, but they create big plays over and over again on this 10, 15, 20-yard.